The next day, morning, Zhang Feng's acquisition team reached an agreement with He Shanhung and bought his shares for 1.13 billion Hong Kong dollars. Including the shares previously acquired by other founders, Jiang Feng now holds 17.1% of the shares of Hang Song Bank, which is still far away from the 54% held by HSBC Bank. But at least it's a good start. The rest depends on the retail stock market. As for HSBC, if we can talk, we can talk. If we can't talk, we can use force. Be short, HSBC. After negotiating with He Shan Hung, Liang Boitao was ordered to continue secretly acquiring Hang Sung Bank shares in the stock market. Jiang Feng rushed to the port of Tun Mun without stopping, preparing to welcome the first batch of cars arriving at the port. Jiang Feng showed a satisfied smile among the three models, which imitated the appearance of Audi A6L, BMW 5 Series, and Hongqi H9. For a hit, Jiang Feng specially selected the car models from the Car Model Appearance Design Library provided by the system. In terms of appearance, there is no doubt that these three cars can easily beat any car of this era. The model ordered as Mercedes-Benz 1 imitates the appearance of the Audi L6. The model ordered as Asia Dragon 1 imitates the appearance of the famous and extremely luxurious Hongqi H9. As for BMW, it still uses the previous model. Codenamed BMW 3, Chin Ferong and Wan Chi Wen accompanied him to pick up the car. When the two saw these three cars, their eyes suddenly lit up, as if looking at treasures, they stepped forward and touched them. This car is so beautiful, Brother Fong. Is this a car produced by our company? Guaranteed replacement if fake? Zhang Fong looked at these three cars with a smile. They are all built on the same platform. Only the appearance is very different. Of course, the tuning of the engine and gearbox are also different. Mercedes-Benz 1 focuses on business and its main customers are small and medium-sized enterprises, the boss, or the executives of some big companies. Then there are the officials. After all, it looks very solemn and majestic, with strong lines and sharp edges, giving people a solemn feeling. BMW 3 is mainly about sports, young style, mainly for some young families, or some middle-level management of companies, and some wealthy second generations. Asia Dragon 1 is built to match Rolls-Royce except that the body is not as slender as Rolls-Royce. Others, in terms of appearance, engine, and fuel consumption, can definitely beat Rolls-Royce. This time, not many Asia Dragon ones were shipped, only 20 units. It's not that the production capacity can't keep up. Things are rare and expensive. All of a sudden, even if dozens or hundreds of cars are shipped over, the status will not be reflected. There are many rich people in Hong Kong. Use marketing to create the impression that people who only want to ride in the Asia Dragon 1 are either rich or noble. As long as this marketing is done well. By then, at that time, the rich would definitely buy it for the sake of face. At this time, limited sales were adopted. Then hunger marketing, the brand was successfully built. The two cars that really gained volume were the Mercedes-Benz 1 and the BMW 3. As for the Asia Dragon 1, Jiang Feng will this car is built to be the world's top luxury car beyond Rolls-Royce. The next day, a big piece of news came, causing a sensation throughout Hong Kong. DPCA will hold a new car launch conference at the Peninsula Hotel at 2 p.m. on December 27th. As the news spread throughout the streets of Xiangjiang, only then did the people from Xiangjiang remember. There is such a car company. Don't blame people like Xiangjiang for their poor memory. Mainly in May. After announcing the construction of an automobile industrial park on Lantau Island, there was no new news, not even a press release. Over time, everyone forgot this matter. At this time, it was suddenly exposed, and everyone remembered that there was such a car company that claimed to build a brand for Xiangjiang people. It's only been more than half a year. But the car has been built? This can't be a lie. How can it be so fast to build a car? That is, even if it is made, the quality is probably not very good. If there is doubt, there will also be support. Don't you know who the boss of Shenlong Motors is? That is the famous Jiang Feng. He can become the richest man in Hong Kong in more than two years. Maybe he can really build a car in half a year. That is, I don't think he is a liar. If he were a liar, he would not dare to hold a press conference. Good. What's more, Shenlong Motors previously acquired a European car company. 
I heard that it is very famous in Europe. Since it has acquired the other party, it means that it can build cars. In the face of doubts from the outside world, Shenlong Automobile Company officials have always remained silent. Everything he says is false. Facts speak louder than words. Whether it is false or not will be known when he debuts on the day. This press conference for the new car launch not only invited reporters from Hong Kong media, but also invited reporters from Wanwan, Audao, and even the news agencies of various countries in Hong Kong. At the same time, invitation letters were also sent to major automobile companies in the world. Either don't do it, or make big news. Of course, Zhang Feng sent invitation letters to these international automobile giants. The first is to give them a sense of presence and let them know that the wolf is coming. It can also be regarded as an afternoon letter. Let them know that Da Xia can also build excellent cars. The second is to take advantage of this appearance to see if we can become an instant success and enter the global market. Island Country Toyota Motor Headquarters Shenlong Motors? What company? Why are you sending us an invitation? Shuichiro Toyota looked at the invitation in his hand and frowned a little unhappy. This is an invitation letter sent to us by a company in Xiangjiang. The secretary said tremblingly. Seeing Shuichiro Toyota's face looking ugly, he quickly added, The boss of this company is called Jiang Feng. He is currently the richest man in Hong Kong and has great influence in Hong Kong. Oh? Shuichiro. Toyota became interested. He remembered that the richest man in Hong Kong was Bao Yugong, who was engaged in ocean transportation. Why did he suddenly become this Jiang Feng? Tell me the details about Jiang Feng. The female secretary heard this and quickly secretly said she was lucky. Before she came, she asked President Shoichiro Toyota for information about Jiang Feng. So she made a special international call to find out more. Jiang Feng, male, 23 years old. He is now the first listed company in Hong Kong and the chairman of the board of directors of Master Kong Group. It is said that he is currently worth 140 billion Hong Kong dollars. In addition, he also owns a number of unlisted companies, Good Strength. Shenlong Automobile Company is one of his companies. It is reported that he acquired the Czech Skoda Automobile Company in May this year. Hiss. Shoichiro Toyota took a breath of air. He said in shock, You mean he is only 23 years old now? In more than two years, his net worth has reached more than 140 billion Hong Kong dollars. Judging from the information collected, this is the case. Yong Yong. Shoichiro Toyota tapped his fingers and frowned. After a while, Shoichiro Toyota, who had made up his mind, said, In this case, you can ask someone to prepare a ticket for me, and I will go and meet this Hong Kong business wizard. E. <coughs> Here Shoichiro Toyota is preparing to go to Xiangjia. Over there, Honda, Mazda, Mitsubishi, and other companies have sent representatives to Xiangjiang. It's not that they are interested in Shenlong Motors. It's more that after learning about Jiang Feng's business achievements, they are holding on to their opinions. See Jiang Feng's mentality and see what magic power he has that can create so much wealth in such a short period of time. It's different from the island country. The M country simply ignores it. For the arrogant M country people, don't say an unknown car company that has been established for less than a year. Even if it has been established for 10 years, it is useless. In their eyes, the only worthy rival is the island country's car industry. Even the European car giants are not looked down upon. In fact, in the 1990s, the most popular cars in the world were not German or American cars, but Japanese cars. With their high quality, low price and fuel efficiency, the island country's cars seized the market share with lightning speed. The world's largest auto market has overwhelmed all the American cars. There is no way to fight back. American cars are famous for their fuel consumption. Japanese cars are known for being economical, practical, and fuel efficient. What do you think Chinese people will buy? Boss, you sent them an invitation letter. Will they come? Paul couldn't understand Jiang Feng's behavior of sending invitation letters to major car companies around the world. Have no idea. Jiang Feng answered simply. Then boss, are you still sending invitations? Paul looked at Jiang Feng with wide eyes. You don't understand this, right? Sending them an invitation letter is to warn them that a wolf is coming. If they ignore it and don't come, will we take advantage of this opportunity to develop vigorously? If it comes, it's nothing. 
let them know the strength of our Shenlong automobile. Actually, Zhang Feng doesn't care much whether these global car companies come or not. He just wants to convey a message that Xiaogua can also build excellent cars. The main markets of Shenlong Automobile are in Xiangjiang, Ao Island and Wanwan, and even the mainland. At least in the past year, this has been the case. After one year, whether you can leave Xia Kingdom, you have to see how the development of Shenlong Motors is. Time flies. Two days past. 27th. 1.45 p.m. In order to make a splash, this time Jiang Feng directly booked the largest hall of the Peninsula Hotel, a hall that can accommodate 2,000 people. At this time, the hall was crowded with people, and many celebrities and celebrities were chatting. Hundreds more have been gathered by domestic and foreign media. Have you heard? Shenlong Automobile plans to recruit three spokespersons to endorse their three cars. I heard that Mr. Sure is communicating with them and plans to let the company's artists take over the endorsement contract. Is it? Why haven't I heard of it? Why are you lying to me? I heard it with my own ears. Even if Mr. Sure wins, there will be no chance for us. If you ask me, the most interesting one here is Zhu Xian, don't you think so? Don't talk nonsense. This has nothing to do with it. It's nothing. You are a big name in our company and the most popular actress. If you don't have a role, who else will? That is. The people who spoke were none other than Wang Zuxian, Li Ruadong, Zhang Yin, Zhu Yin and other girls. As artists under New World, they also received care this time and attended the new car launch conference. Okay, stop talking, Mr. Sure is here. When the girls heard this, they looked over. Sure enough, they saw Sher Nanxing walking towards them. They're all here. Sure. Nanxing looked at several girls with a smile, and finally his eyes rested on Wang Zuxian, and said with a smile, Zuxian, congratulations. You will become the spokesperson of DPCA, the BMW brand. Buzzing. Wang Zuxian was stunned. The other women were also stunned. They were just joking just now, and did not really think that Wang Zuxian could become the spokesperson. After all, this car. Usually it is men who speak for themselves. There are very few female spokespeople. The results of it. Ah. My guess is right, Zhu Xian. You have really become the spokesperson. Zhu Yin, who was quirky and out of character, was the first to come to his senses and congratulated Wang Zhu Xian. The rest of the people also congratulated Wang Zhu Xian. By the way, I forgot to tell you. Letting you represent BMW was decided by the big boss himself. Sure. Nanxing added. Hearing the sound, Zhang Feng's figure instantly appeared in Wang Zuxian's mind. He thought about finding him before and begging him to help him save his parents. For a moment, his eyes looked complicated. There is only one voice in my head. He confirmed it himself. The women around them all looked at Wang Zuxian with envy and jealousy when they heard that Shi Nanxing said that Zhang Feng personally made the decision. They all lamented that they were so dizzy. First, he accepted the endorsement deal from Master Kong. Now he has accepted the endorsement of BMW brand. These two endorsement fees alone amount to hundreds of millions a year, which is enough for living expenses even if you don't film. Among the women, the most jealous one is undoubtedly Zhang Yin. Girls like Li Ruadong and Zhu Yin are all just starting out. It has been three years since Zhang Yin debuted, and he has taken on several films in Yongsheng and is somewhat famous in the film industry. At this time, when I saw Wang Zuxian, who was one year older than me, I felt a little jealous. The lounge behind the press conference. How much time is left? Zhang Feng asked Chun Farong beside him. Chun Farong looked at his watch after hearing the sound, and then said, There are still four minutes. Four minutes left. Zhang Feng nodded. Took a deep breath. How about it? Very nervous? Seeing his nervous look, Chun Farong couldn't help but laugh. You are already the richest man in Hong Kong. Are you still afraid of this small new car launch conference? Jiang. Feng shook his head. An hour ago, my mind was filled with all kinds of tension. He turned to look at Chin Farong. Now, there is nothing. As the time gets closer and closer, these emotions are getting farther and farther away from me. If there is anything, only indifference. Today is just for you. Chin Fa said with a smile on his face. Yes. Neither. Zhang Feng said calmly, glanced at his girlfriend beside him, and smiled. It belongs to all of us. 
Brother Fong, the time has come. Wan Shi Wen opened the door and said to him, Let's go. Zhang Feng nodded, then stood up and walked out. Out, Zhang Feng is out, look. Wow, wow. It's the first time I've seen him in person. He's so handsome. Accompanied by warm applause, Jiang Feng walked towards the center of the stage calmly and calmly. There is no doubt that the most popular person in the venue today is Jiang Feng. He is dressed in a formal suit and looks particularly energetic with his bangs combed back. His young and resolute face and calm smile make many people's eyes light up when they meet him for the first time. Jiang Feng waved his right hand with a smile. Every time I waved, I was greeted by countless spotlights. When Zhang Feng stood in the center of the stage and looked around at everyone, the audience also became quiet. Dear journalists and distinguished guests, good afternoon everyone. Welcome everyone to attend the new car launch conference of Shenlong Automobile Company. On behalf of all the employees of Shenlong Automobile Company, I would like to express my gratitude to everyone. After Jiang Feng finished this sentence in a formulaic manner, someone below naturally took the lead in applauding. There was a burst of applause. After that, Jiang Feng briefly introduced the background and vision of Shenlong Motors. Then, he turned the topic to the products. Without further ado, I know you are all impatient to see what our Shenlong car looks like, so I will reveal it to you below. Jiang Feng's voice fell slightly. The reporters and guests in the audience saw three things covered with red cloth rising slowly in the middle of the stage. They looked at the things covered with red cloth. Many of them had seen people who were involved in today's press conference know that Shenlong Motors will launch three models today. After the lift stopped, Zhang Feng turned around and looked at the audience with a smile on his face. As you can see, Shenlong Motors will launch this time there are three models, namely the BMW 3 Series with active youthful and sporty style the Mercedes-Benz 1 Series with business style, and the Asia Dragon 1 dedicated to top luxury cars. Zhang Feng's ambition is so big. He launches three models at once, or three independent brands. Isn't he afraid of being choked? When Zhang Feng introduced the positioning of the three cars, the Honda representative in the audience said with some disdain, Dong Mujuin is right. Zhang Feng thought that making cars was as simple as producing drinks and instant noodles. Without even core engine technology and transmission technology, what kind of car can a company with no foundation in automobile research and development build? The representatives of the major automobile giants who attended the meeting all sneered at what Zhang Feng said. They thought it was just a change of shell. At this time, Zhang Feng on the stage also finished introducing the positioning of the three cars. Without further ado, let us reveal it together. Wow! With the help of the MC, Jiang Feng unveiled three pieces of red cloth in one breath. Suddenly, three brilliant cars appeared on the field. The business style of Mercedes-Benz, the sportiness of BMW, and the luxury and luxury of Asia Dragon. The solemnity was vividly expressed at this moment. Hiss. There were gasps from the audience. A pair of eyes seemed to be possessed, staring intently at the three epic-making masterpieces. No doubt compared to cars of this era. The three cars launched by Shenlong Motors have stunning appearance. These three cars are so good-looking. Look at the streamlined lines, the majestic waistline and headlights. I never thought cars could be made so beautiful. That Asia Dragon one looks so domineering, more domineering than Rolls-Royce. Many people are attracted by the dark appearance of Asia Dragon one. In particular, some local wealthy people in Xiangjiang were very interested in Asia Dragon 1 and started whispering to each other. The car Zhang Feng just built looks pretty good. Hua Jinting looked at the jet black Asia Dragon 1. After hearing this, Pan Dixing, who was sitting next to him, nodded slightly and said with a smile, I thought his car was just a gimmick before, and his purpose was to capture Lantau Island, of land? Now it seems that I underestimated. He is not playing tricks. He is really doing it. Hua. Jinting glanced at him, turned to the Asia Dragon 1 on the stage, and said slowly, I heard that this Asia Dragon 1 is limited to only 20 units. 20 units? Pan Dishing was stunned for a moment. Then he licked his lips. He understood what Hua Jinting meant. No matter whether this Asian Dragon 1 is good or not, this thing is a matter of face and a symbol of status. I won't introduce the performance of the car one by one. 
friends who are interested can ask the waiter to get a copy of the information at the end of the venue. There was a pause. Looking at the thousands of people in the audience, Zhang Feng smiled and said, Having said so much, what everyone is most concerned about is the price. Hee <laughs> hee. Everyone in the audience smiled knowingly. Zhang Feng didn't show off and clapped his hands. Immediately, three hostesses stood in front of the three cars holding a rectangular sign. When the etiquette ladies, under Jiang Feng's instructions, turned the sign over to reveal the price, the entire venue fell silent. Then, the noise started. Oh my god. It's so cheap. That BMW 3 only costs 199,800 Hong Kong dollars. It is three times cheaper than the crown in the island country. The people who came to attend the press conference were all shocked by the astonishing price. In their opinion, such a beautiful car must cost three to four hundred thousand. As a result, it only sold for one hundred and ninety-nine thousand eight hundred. It's hundreds of thousands cheaper. Shoichiro Toyota, who was sitting in the front row, was slightly frightened. He was the only one among the few car company representatives who listened attentively, although he expressed doubts about Jiang Feng's claim of 7L fuel consumption per 100 kilometers. However, in terms of appearance, these three cars are full of design and are eye-catching products. At least, he was attracted. The positioning of 199,800 was also determined after market research. The first-generation BMW 3 was launched with the aim of increasing sales. The pricing is too high. We'll scare off some potential buyers. Even though, the appearance of BMW 3 is indeed very beautiful. Moreover, this is only the starting price of the low-power version of the BMW 3, and not all series have this price. Besides, seizing the market in the early stage is the last word. After the press conference, there was a dinner party. In order to celebrate the launch of the new car and support the Shenlong Automobile Group, we directly booked two large banquet halls in the Peninsula Hotel. As the protagonist, Zhang Feng naturally had to accompany all the big guys who came to support him. Zhang Shang, I heard that the Asia Dragon one is limited to only 20 units this time? Zhang Feng nodded slightly. Pan Shang is right. There are indeed only 20 units. Can I book a car now? I booked an Asia Dragon one. After drinking some wine, Pan Dishing, who smelled of alcohol, grinned at Jiang Feng. Jiang. Feng was stunned for a moment, then nodded and smiled. Okay. I was worried about how to sell Asia Dragon 1 to the rich, but I didn't expect Pan Dishing to come to my door. Jiang Feng was naturally happy to see it. Give me two. At this time, Hua Jinting suddenly said, Two stations? Jiang Feng looked at Hua Jinting with a smile. What do you want two stations for? Are you still planning to change seats? One for me, and one for the old man. Cool. Jinting said lightly. Besides, you made us a lot of money last time, and we didn't even have time to thank you. I'll buy two cars this time, please excuse me. Jiang Feng was stunned for a moment. Then he picked up the wine glass, smiled and said to Hua Jinting, Thank you. Although Hua Jinting said it casually, Zhang Feng understood that the other party was really helping him. Just imagine, if Hua Yingdong takes the Asia Dragon one when traveling, wouldn't it be a big sign? Following the lead of Pan Dishing and Hua Jinting, sitting in the same room the other wealthy people at the table also ordered one. In just a moment, all 20 Asia Dragon ones were ordered by all the wealthy people. For them, it was not that they really liked the Asia Dragon one car, but Xiang Zhang Feng showed his kindness or thanked him. After all, they made a lot of money from the listing of Master Kong. Just when Jiang Feng was chatting and laughing with a group of rich people, a lame voice suddenly interrupted him. Hello, Mr. Jiang. Looking at the sudden appearance of the islanders, Jiang Feng frowned. You are? I am the president of Toyota Motor Corporation, Shoichiro Toyota, the short island native said with a smile. Oh. Jiang Feng showed a look of surprise then nodded and said to Shoichiro Toyota, Mr. Toyota, what do you want from me? Shoichiro Toyota said in his poor Mandarin, I heard that Mr. Jiang built an automobile industrial park on Lantau Island. Didn't you know that I can you be lucky enough to visit it? Visit? Jiang Feng did not expect Shoichiro Toyota to make this request. He thought he had something to talk about. After pondering for a moment, he nodded and said, Since Mr. Toyota wants to visit, I think so. I will go with you tomorrow morning. Hearing this, 
Shoichiro Toyota showed joy on his face, looked around, and then said, Then I won't disturb Mr. Jiang. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Looking at Shoichiro Toyota's retreating back, Jiang Feng was thoughtful. He had somewhat guessed the purpose of Shoichiro Toyota. When visiting the industrial base, he just wanted to get a feel for it and see the production capacity and assembly lines of Shenlong Motor Company. Jiang Feng is not afraid of any of this. As long as the R&D center is well protected, Shoichiro Toyota can let him see the rest if he wants. By the way, he will let this old devil know that in the future, Xiang Jiang will no longer be dominated by their Japanese cars. The next day, major newspapers in Hong Kong have published news about the listing of Shenlong Motors. Zero breakthrough. Shenlong Motors launches three new cars. Sing Tao News. The article listed that the Xiangjiang automobile market has been occupied by foreign brands for a long time. Until today, a local automobile in Xiangjiang was born. Compared with the implicit nature of Sing Tao Daily, as the mouthpiece of the Jiang Feng clique, New World Daily is much more radical. Front page of the day. The entire page published news about Shenlong Motors and even labeled it as Xiangjiang People's Own Car Brand and compare its parameters with those of cars on the market. This allows many people who don't know much about car performance to see at a glance who is better and who is worse by comparing the data lists. Certainly, what catches the eye is the selling price. It's no use all the hype. It has to be implemented in the end. Value for money is king. Coincidentally, both BMW and Mercedes-Benz have an advantage in this regard. Especially the BMW 3 has attracted many people with its ultra-low price of 199800 and its ultra-beautiful appearance. Business people, on the other hand, value the Mercedes-Benz 1 Series more, which is calm and majestic and well-built for business people. When these middle-class people plan to buy a car, they learn that it would not be officially launched until seven days later. So, I had to wait patiently. DPCA. Paul, you will accompany Shoichiro Toyota to visit the factory later. Remember to take confidentiality measures. Zhang Feng warned Paul who was standing in front of him. Boss, didn't I say you wanted to accompany me? Paul blinked. Yesterday, he heard Zhang Feng say that he would take Shoichiro Toyota to visit the factory today. Why? He suddenly changed his mind. I have something to do here temporarily, so I can't leave. Just go shopping with him. When I got home last night, Zhang Feng received a call from Zhou Lan. Yinjing will send a big shot to contact him. Therefore, Zhang Feng must go back to Pingqing. Okay, boss. After the arrangements were made, Zhang Feng led people to Pingqing without stopping. He passed the port in the afternoon and checked into a high end hotel in Pingqing. That night, there were two cars the military vehicle took Jiang Feng to a solemn room. Mr. Jiang, let me introduce to you. This is Mr. Lu from Yinjing. Yangqing military region, who had met Jiang Feng once before, Jiang Zhen introduced to him with a smile an imposing old man in his 60s who was around him. I heard that someone from Yinjing could make Jiang Zhen take him so seriously. The identity of the other party is self-evident. Hello, Mr. Lu. Jiang Feng stood up and said hello respectfully. Mr. Liu nodded with a smile, raised his hand and said, Not bad. Young man, don't be shy and sit down. After Jiang Feng took his seat, Mr. Liu showed a kind smile. I've heard about you. You donated 40 million to the Asian Games and invested billions in Pengcheng. Yes, if you want more, there is no need for a patriotic entrepreneur like you to revive our country. Jiang Feng smiled. Liu Laomiao praised me. I was just doing my best but I dare not take it for granted that you always praise me like this. At this time, Jiang Feng has already recognized who the old man in front of him is. One of the top bosses in the army. Okay, okay. It's good that young people can achieve such achievements and still feel humble about themselves. Come on, the motherland needs you. Mr. Liu was very satisfied with Jiang Feng's statement. We attach great importance to what you said to Comrade Zhou Lan. After a meeting, we decided that I would contact you. As he said that, Mr. Liu waved his hand gently. Another man standing beside him with the general star took out a folded paper from his pocket. He unfolded it and handed it to Jiang Feng. Here are the items to be purchased. See if you can get them. Jiang Feng nodded. He picked up the paper and read it. Good guy. 
They are all the most advanced equipment of Polar Bear. What about Su-27, Su-30, Su-33 carrier-based aircraft? The list of T-80 tanks is very long. Most of them are not finished equipment. The main purchase is engine technology. It seems that the senior management still realizes that it is better to buy it than to make it yourself. But then again, isn't this what Dashia has been doing for decades? Except for the early polar bears that assisted experts, they were all withdrawn later. Without relying on external forces, China just built two bombs and one satellite. Jiang Feng still admires the domestic R&D capabilities. However, if there is better technology, if we take it back and study it, we can avoid some detours. Fold the paper well. Then he raised his head and said with a smile, Mr. Liu, your purchase list this time is a lot. I can't guarantee 100% that I can get them all, but I will use my best efforts to purchase them. This is natural. Mr. Liu nodded. He had seen the list, ranging from planes and tanks to various military industrial chains. In his opinion, it would be very rare for Jiang Feng to be able to handle only one third of it. After all, these things, Polar Bear official it won't be sold. By the way, Mr. Liu, I don't know if President Zhou has told you or not. Regarding the issue of cargo transportation, you need to solve this problem yourself. Zhang Feng said suddenly. This matter is particularly important. Mr. Liu smiled and said, Don't worry, we will solve it here. He nodded and did not inquire about how they would transport it then. Afterwards, the two discussed the issue of funds, and Jiang Feng did not say that he would cover it all. If that were the case, let alone how many times he would be able to transport it. Even if you have a net worth of tens of billions, even if you have a net worth of hundreds of billions, you will be done with it sooner or later. How to do it in the business world? The exchange went smoothly until Mr. Liu's attendant reminded him to take a rest, and the two ended the conversation. Before leaving at this moment, Mr. Liu patted his shoulder and said meaningfully, Good job, young man. We all see your contribution to the country, and the country will never forget those who have contributed to the country. Zhang Feng was overjoyed when he heard what Mr. Liu said. Isn't it just to wear a safety hat after doing such a thing? The next day, morning, Zhang Feng returned to Xiangjiang from Pingqing. Instead of going back to Repulse Bay, we asked the driver to go directly to the hotel where Natasha and Frode were staying. Hi, Jiang. You finally remembered me, and I was almost bored to death. After Flood saw Jiang Feng, he stepped forward and gave him a big hug. Jiang Feng smiled. Looking at Flood, who didn't look like a soldier at all, he said, What? Not used to it in Xiangjiang. Xiangjiang is the most prosperous city I have ever seen. I like it here. Unfortunately, I can't speak Dasha dialect. Sometimes it is difficult to communicate. Frod said with a distressed look. In this era, there are very few polar bears living in Xiangjiang, and even fewer can speak Russian. Well, stop complaining. There's business. When he heard that there was a business, Flood immediately became energetic. What business? Natasha, who was silent at the side, also walked over. Zhang Feng nodded slightly towards her, and then handed the list to Frode. Frode took a quick look at it. River, you want too many things. You can't get many of them. Flood frowned, because he found that there were too many types of things on this list, especially aviation engines. Jiang Feng shrugged, found a seat and sat down, and said slowly, as much as you can get. All right, tell me honestly, what is your relationship with the Dasha military? Froud stared at Jiang Feng. Jiang Feng glanced at him and smiled lightly. I'm just a businessman and have nothing to do with the military. All right. Flood shrugged and sat down beside him. I don't think so. What you listed above are all about spare parts for aircraft manufacturing, not finished and assembled aircraft. Natasha held the list and said in a cold tone, Can I buy it and study it myself? Jiang. Feng grinned and said with a smile, Country M has Lockheed Martin and Boeing. I also want to set up an arms company for fun. Fraud heard that Jiang Feng wanted to start an arms company, and he immediately became interested. Hey, Jiang, if you really want to start an arms company, you must come to me. Jiang Feng rolled his eyes at him and said lightly, Let's talk about it later. Let's talk about this order first. Jiang. Feng looked at the two of them for a few times, and then said, Which of you will contact me later? 
I'm going back. I'm going back. Fraud and Natasha said in unison. Fraud frowned and looked at Natasha and said, I am in charge of contact. You should stay in Xiangjiang. Natasha was silent for two seconds and said, I go home. You should go home? Zhang Feng asked with a frown. Um. Natasha nodded. Okay. Zhang Feng originally wanted to persuade her to stay. But when he thought about how he had so many things to do, he had no time to take care of her. Afterwards, Zhang Feng chatted with Froud for a while, finalized the details, and then asked the two of them farewell. Leave the hotel. Zhang Feng picked up the satellite phone and wanted to call Selena to inform her of what was happening here. But thinking about the time difference, I gave up the idea. Go to company. Zhang Feng hung up the phone and said to the driver, Ok. The car was driving smoothly. Zhang Feng closed his eyes and began to rest. Soon, the motorcade arrived at Master Kong building. What's going on? Why are you waiting in such a long line? Zhang Feng, who got off the car, couldn't help but frown when he looked at the long queue. Immediately, a bodyguard came forward to inquire. Soon, the bodyguard trotted back. Boss, I dare to inquire. They are all came to apply for a job. Applying for a job? Zhang Feng was stunned. Well, it is said that Lanshan Jinshio Clothing Company has posted an advertisement to recruit many models, and these are the ones who applied. Oh, no wonder there are so many women. They are looking for models. However, Does Nayuro T the company have artists? Why do you need a model? He shook his head and entered the company with a trace of doubt. Just as I sat on the chair, before I had time to take a sip of water, there was a knock on the door. Come in. Immediately afterwards, Zhang Feng saw Sun Wei walking in. Something's wrong? Zhang Feng asked. Um. Sun Wei nodded, sat down on the chair in front of him, and looked at Zhang Feng with a pair of beautiful eyes. Did you find a problem? What is the problem? Zhang Feng looked at Sun Wei confused and confused. Sun Wei rolled her eyes. You didn't notice the problem when you took the elevator? You'd better stop giving me riddles and tell the truth directly. Zhang Feng, who was too lazy to think, just leaned on the chair lazily. Don't you think this building is a bit crowded now? Crowded? Zhang Feng was stunned for a moment, then he remembered the scene when he took the elevator and nodded slightly. It's indeed a bit crowded. Too few elevators, quite a waste of time. This is just one aspect. I'm afraid you don't know how many employees your company has now, right? Rolling a look at Zhang Feng, Sun Wei said softly, I really do not know. The company under its subsidiaries is expanding too fast. He doesn't know how many people there are. Sun Wei took out one and handed it to him. I know you don't know. These are the current employees of Master Kong Group. You may consider buying a new building. Zhang Feng didn't say a word. He took the document handed over by Sun Wei and read it. He couldn't tell without looking at it. He was shocked when he saw it. Good guy. Master Kong Group has more than 60,000 employees around the world. Among them, the mainland has the largest number of employees. There are 35,000 people, followed by Southeast Asia, Xiangjiang, and Wanwan. Among them, Xiangjiang has about 8,000 people. Of course, this includes the acquisition of Lee Kum Key Company. Since when have there been so many people? I do not know how. Zhang Feng licked his lips and said, Sun Wei rolled her eyes and said angrily, You are not in charge of the house, so of course you don't know. Jiang. Feng put down the documents in his hands with a sneer and changed the subject. What did you mean by buying a new building just now? Of course it's too crowded. Sun. Wei said slowly, Now, Master Kong building is seriously crowded. Counting Blue Mountain Group, Jinshio Clothing, and New World Media Group, the number of people working there currently reaches more than 10,000. Just commuting to and from get off work every day and waiting for the elevator takes half an hour, which seriously affects the company's office efficiency. I suggest purchasing a new building. Zhang Feng nodded slightly after understanding, it's really time to activate it. Zhang Feng doesn't know how the Blue Mountain Group is developing now. However, after seeing the number of people in the Master Kong Group, he can guess that the scale of Blue Mountain must be larger than he imagined. In this way, you can take the lead and let Blue Mountain, New World, and Jinshio form a land selection group. Since you want to buy, then do it all at once and buy three more buildings directly. Zhang Feng, 
said with an affirmative expression. Meeting, Sunway wanted to think about whether it would be too wasteful, but when she thought of Jiang Feng's current worth, let alone buying three buildings, even if you buy 10 or 20 buildings, there will be no problem. Just after talking to Sunway here, the phone suddenly rang. Zhang Feng rubbed his forehead and picked up the phone. Hello, who is this? I am the boss. Liang Buotao's voice came from the phone. Buoxin, is something wrong? Um, boss, our acquisition of Hang Sang Bank in the stock market was discovered by HSBC. Hearing this, Zhang Feng frowned and said, What's going on? The thing is like this. Liang Buotao briefly explained what happened. It turned out that he had been buying for several days in a row. I didn't notice it at first because he used multiple accounts to trade. But later, Hang Sang found that the trading volume in the market was getting lower and lower, and the stock price continued to rise. So the news was reported to HSBC. HSBC immediately decided to buy. As a result, fewer and fewer shares are circulating in the market. Zhang Feng understood what was going on and asked in a deep voice, How many Hang Sang shares do we have now? Liang Buxin, Currently we have 27.61% of the shares. 27.61% of the shares is completely not enough. If you want to control Hang Sang Bank, you need at least 51% to be considered a controlling shareholder. In this way, you should first stop absorbing Hang Sang stocks. Zhang Feng said with a cold face and a serious tone. From now on, mobilize the funds of all fund companies to attack HSBC with all their strength. Since, HSBC will acquire Hang Seng. Then he will attack HSBC. With the nearly 60 billion US dollars in capital he currently has on hand, he can also draw billions of Hong Kong dollars from major groups at any time. Not to mention that it can be completely acquired, but there is still an opportunity to become a major shareholder or controlling shareholder of HSBC. There is a saying that someone will kill him while he is sick. HSBC has expanded at an alarming rate over the past decade. In 1980, it first acquired 51% of the equity of SITC Bank in Country M for 314 million US dollars. In 1983, it acquired 51% of the shares of Carroll McEntee and McKinsey, a securities trading company in China. In 1986, it acquired the major London trader, James and Company and at the same time took over most of the assets of the Bank of British Columbia. In 1987, it acquired 14.7% of the shares of Midland Bank, one of the four major settlement banks in Eagle Country. In the same year, it acquired the remaining 49% shares of SITC Bank in Country M for 5 billion Hong Kong dollars. It can be said that HSBC has been buying and selling in recent years. In the expansion stage, a lot of money was thrown away. The funds in hand are definitely not much. A more important reason is that HSBC's shareholding is dispersed and easy to defeat. I came back with a severe cough and fever. As a result, updates cannot keep up. Sorry. HSBC shares are not generally diversified. There are a lot of liquid stocks. 20 years later, HSBC's largest shareholder is Ping an Asset Management Company, the Ping and Insurance Group in Pengcheng, holding 7.01% of the shares. Ranked second is BlackRock Fund, with a shareholding ratio of 6.59%. You can see how spread out the shares are. Otherwise, there would not be a listed company that holds 7.01% of the shares and is the largest shareholder. Certainly. At this time, HSBC had not yet been restructured. The equity is relatively less dispersed, and no new shares have been issued. However, HSBC at this time did not have a market capitalization of 1.3 trillion Hong Kong dollars 30 years later. Therefore, with the funds in Jiang Feng's hands, it is not difficult to become a major shareholder or controlling shareholder. Of course, the acquisition of HSBC is not simply an acquisition for Hang Seng Bank. In fact, HSBC itself is also a good asset. Calculated based on the market value before Jiang Feng crossed, HSBC's assets increased nearly 100 million times in 153 years from 1865 to 2018. Become one of the world's largest banking and financial services and institutions. Its business covers six major regions around the world. Having such a bank in his pocket will not only ensure the safety of his funds in the future,
but also make it easier to launder the money from overseas rupee speculation and transfer it to HSBC. Hang Sung Bank's plate is still too small. Besides, you can't put a single dollar in one basket. Owning his own bank is an urgent matter for him now. Putting money in other people's baskets is still not as safe as in your own basket. Liang Botao on the other end of the phone woke up after a brief period of confusion and said excitedly, Boss, are we really going to attack HSBC? Through the phone, Zhang Feng could also feel that Liang Botao must be excited at this time. Incessantly, South Korea has Samsung. There is HSBC in Xiangjia. HSBC's status is similar to South Korea's Samsung, and it has always been a financial giant that people in Hong Kong cannot avoid. If only such a British-owned company could be turned into a Chinese-owned company. It must be something that will shock the whole of Hong Kong and even the Eagle Country. This is still fake. This time we will take action on HSBC. Zhang Feng grinned and said. However, don't rush in this time. Just absorb it steadily. The acquisition of Hang Sang Bank is just too anxious. Buying in large quantities every day. As long as you are not a fool you will know that someone is absorbing a large amount of Hang Seng stocks. If you extend the timeline to three months or half a year, it is actually very difficult to absorb a little every day. Found it. After all, there are retail transactions every day. Clear. Liang Buxin nodded in response. The last time Hang Seng Bank was involved was also due to time constraints. Now, with Jiang Feng's words, he has confidence in his heart. HSBC. How about it? Is there any movement today? The then head of HSBC, Mr. Puves, asked with a frown. Ever since he offended someone for secretly acquiring shares of Hang Song Bank, Mr. Puves had not had a good night's sleep. Although he decided to move his assets and change his registered place to London, Hong Kong it is still the fulcrum of HSBC's strategy. Hang Song Bank is a part of this point. So after learning that someone was absorbing Hang Sang shares in the stock market, Without knowing the other party's purpose, HSBC was asked to buy back the shares. Nothing much happened today. The trader on the side replied. No movement? Puves frowned. Is it because there is no funds? Or has he discovered that HSBC is also making acquisitions? In this way, you can keep an eye on this side at all times. If the other party makes any changes, let me know immediately. Pulvise decided to wait and see. If the other party is still attracting money, it means that the other party is not short of funds, but is probably plotting against Hang Sang Bank. The former is fine, but the latter. Pilatus can't say anything. Don't let the black hand succeed. Here, Jiang Feng hung up the phone. After thinking for a while, he stood up and walked towards New World Company. Compared with the dazzling Tingyi Group and Blue Mountain Group, New World is much bleaker. Even if New World Cinemas merges and acquires cinema chain companies in Southeast Asia, it still cannot change New World's current weak profitability. It's no wonder Sher Nansheng is incompetent. The family's financial resources are really thin. Coupled with the goal of comparison, they are all the best in their field. At present, New World Group's important funds are all laid out in theater chains. First, it acquired Huateng Cinema's company in Malaysia for 200 million Hong Kong dollars. Immediately afterwards, MCX Cinema Company acquired Siam for 158 million Hong Kong dollars and acquired Lion Dance Theater Company in the Lion City for 126 million Hong Kong dollars. Currently, New World Cinemas owns 56 cinemas overseas. It is considered to be the top theater chain company in Southeast Asia. Of course, it's the kind at the end of a crane. Most of the theater companies acquired screen Chinese language films. However, after New World injects capital holdings, Western and local films will also be screened in order to support itself. After a series of acquisitions, New World Group is almost running out of money. If it hadn't been for selling Once Upon a Time and Ghost Bites Ghost, he earned more than 70 million Hong Kong dollars from the video rights of three movies including Inspector 500 million plus box office share. Not to mention acquiring so many theater chains, it is difficult to acquire even one. There is nothing we can do about this. The overall box office of the film industry is not as huge as it was in later generations. A market worth tens of billions, or even hundreds of billions. At present, the size of the Hong Kong movie box office market is only 1.3 billion. This still includes Western films. 
However, there are close to 200 films competing for it. Actually, except for the opening movie, most movies lose money, mainly by selling videotapes or collect box office in Southeast Asia. After all, Hong Kong films were still very popular throughout Southeast Asia in the 1980s and 1990s. There is no comparison with the same type of beverage market and instant noodle market, not to mention the alcohol. The market is only so big unless you break into Hollywood or break into the European market. Otherwise, what do you want Shernansheng to compare with Master Kong Group and Blue Mountain Group? For this reason, Shernansheng worries a lot. Boss. Shernansheng, who was at work, was overjoyed when he saw Jiang Feng coming. He hurriedly greeted him. This is a super cash machine. How is the company doing lately? Jiang Feng casually found a seat and sat down, looking at Shen Nansheng with a smile. Shen Nansheng said with a sad face, I'm poor. The company's working capital is only over 10 million yuan. So little? Jiang Feng said in shock. The working capital of a group is only over 10 million Hong Kong dollars. Yes. Shen Nansheng nodded and said with a grimace, I recently acquired three cinema chain companies, which completely wiped out the company's bottom line. Zhang Feng nodded. He had heard about the acquisition of cinema chain companies. So, New World won't be able to pay a penny for the purchase of the group building this time? Sure. Nanxing smiled and said, I'm afraid I'll have to trouble you, boss. Look at the company's current situation. It really can't come up with funds. Rolling his eyes at Shen Nanxing who called him poor, Zhang Feng asked again, How did the piracy business issue discussed with the Xiang family go? Still in the negotiation stage. But the situation is not optimistic. According to the news from the Xiang family, neither Number Gang nor Shangha was willing to give up the cake. In addition, according to market research, the cost of blank videotapes is higher than we thought, as high as 110 Hong Kong dollars per tape. Looking at Jiang Feng, Shen Nansheng said bitterly, this is a problem. Zhang Feng nodded slightly. The cost is too high, which will lead to a large backlog of funds. Sales profits will be diluted. In addition, videotapes are not easy to preserve. And the preservation environment is very demanding. If it is not shown for a long time, it is very likely that the picture is a painting. Or the cassette phenomenon. The villa he lives in has dozens of videotapes. They are all bought by the three women to kill time. Sometimes, Zhang Feng also takes a look at the situation and finds that the screen often appears black or blurred. This is still a matter of buying the genuine version. The quality of the pirated version is probably even worse. Thinking of this, Zhang Feng couldn't help but think deeply. Suddenly, an idea flashed in Jiang Feng's head. Under Shi Nanxing's shocked look, Jiang Feng patted his head gently and regretted. How could I forget it? What did you forget? Shen Nanxing was frightened by his sudden move. He heard what he said again, so he blinked and asked curiously. Zhang Feng smiled and said calmly, VCD. What is VCD? Sure. Nanxing asked with a puzzled look on his face. VCD is a device similar to a video recorder, which can play recorded videos clearly, such as movies and TV series. Looking at Shen Nanxing with a blank expression, Zhang Feng paused and said, To put it simply, it is similar to an LD DVD player. Speaking of VCDs, Jiang Feng thought of the popularity of VCDs in the mainland in the previous generation. They were basically spread across urban and rural areas, much higher than the popularity of DVDs. For a few cents on a Taoban VCD, you can enjoy so many wonderful movies. This is a very cost-effective business for mainlanders. After all, it cost a few dollars to go to the cinema to watch a movie. Even if you rent a videotape, you still have to pay a deposit. VCD can be popularized in the mainland and popular all over the country. This was also due to the development of Asia at that time, and the country did not have any audio and video copyrights. It relied on a large number of cheap pirated discs to provide rich content and localized VCDs. After reducing costs, VCDs entered thousands of households. It has become one of the most popular home appliances after TVs and refrigerators. Speaking of VCD, this also involves an international lawsuit. The world's first VCD was the Wanyin VCD, developed by a mainland company in 1993. 
Its decoding and compression technology was invented by a micro-small business in the United States called C-Cube because the founder of Wanyin Company, Jiang Wanming, had little awareness of patent rights at that time. No patent applied for. As a result, Idwa, Shinka, Shashin, Malida, Jinjiang, and Shinka rushed to the market. Because the technical content of VCD is not very high and it is replicable. Soon, these companies developed their own VCDs. By the time Wanyin Company discovered something was wrong, it was already too late. Faced with low price competition from many brands, Wanyin was soon killed by a number of imitating brands. Only legends remain. Therefore, we can see how important patents are. But now, Zhang Feng decided to be the first to try and develop VCD. Apart from anything else, the tens of billions market in the mainland alone is enough for him to covet. Not to mention there are other regional markets such as Southeast Asia. More importantly, the emergence of VCD can solve the current dilemma. Once the patented technology is applied for, coupled with Jiang Feng's current celebrity status in the mainland, it will not be difficult to suppress other piracy companies. Thus, this is equivalent to tens of billions of revenue per year. At the same time, it can also increase revenue for New World Film Company and achieve multiple goals with one stone. After making up his mind, Jiang Feng did not stay at Shernanching's place, but simply told her to temporarily give up his previous plan to pirate the videotape. After all, it would be a bit embarrassing for a regular film company to sell pirated videotapes and be discovered. A few days later, a company called Lanshan Electronics was quietly established. After its establishment, Lanshan Electronics attracted Jiang Feng's attention. First, Liang Boitao was asked to temporarily put down his work and go to the United States to acquire the C-Cube company. At the same time, Zhang Feng asked the personnel department of Blue Mountain Group to vigorously recruit Integrated Circuit and other related talents overseas and in Hong Kong. He also sent people to the mainland to find Jiang Weiming. Zhang Feng did not remember where Jiang Weiming's family lived, but he only knew that he was engaged in making televisions in Huian Province. Fortunately, the surname Jiang is not a common surname. In addition, it is restricted to Huian province, and it is engaged in technology. Layers down. It didn't take long to find Jiang Weiming. After learning that Jiang Weiming had been found, Jiang Feng made a special call. Under Jiang Feng's warm invitation, he agreed to go to Xiangjiang. At the same time, good news also came from the United States. Liang Boitao lived up to expectations and successfully packaged and acquired the C-Cube company and its patented technology for 10 million US dollars. January 7, 1991. Hong Kong. Blue Mountain Electronic Technology Company was officially established in a temporary office building in Central. Jiang Weiming serves as the company's general manager and Sun Yensheng, the founder of the original C-Cube company, who is also a Chinese, serves as the company's deputy general manager. After the ceremony. Zhang Feng took Zhang Weiming and Sun Yinsheng for a short meeting. According to what I said before, how long will it take for this VCD project to be developed? Sitting on the chair in the conference room, Zhang Feng looked calmly at Sun Yinsheng and Zhang Weiming opposite. Sun Yinsheng opposite was the first to say, it's not difficult. Now we have successfully researched the MPEG technology. What's left is the lack of movement, laser heads, etc. If these are imported from island countries, I expect they will be developed in less than a month. If all components such as the movement and laser head are developed by ourselves, it will probably take a long time. The specific time depends on the specific situation. The core technology of VCD is the MPEG decoding chip and movement. As for the other technologies, it is really not difficult. Basically, as long as you master the MPEG decoding chip and movement, you can imitate VCD. This is why there were so many companies in the previous life after the birth of Wanyin VCD. It was developed in less than two months. After pondering for a moment, Zhang Feng raised two fingers and said to Zhang Wanming and Sun Yinsheng, two steps. First, you can import movements from island countries and purchase larger quantities to avoid them raising prices later. Secondly, we still need to develop the movement. No matter how good other people's Euro S products are, they still belong to others. As an electronics R&D company, the core of the product must be in your own hands. 
Both of them expressed support for the two-step strategy mentioned by Jiang Feng, but they were worried about funding. In this regard, Jiang Feng said to them, In terms of funding, you don't have to worry, I will inject 100 million Hong Kong dollars into the company. After hearing that Jiang Feng was willing to invest 100 million Hong Kong dollars, Jiang Weiming and Sun Yenqing had no other opinions and said that they would go all out to develop VCD. Jiang Feng couldn't get involved in technical matters, so he couldn't help. But VCD only has technology but no content, and it cannot be promoted. After all, it's impossible to buy a VCD and play several movies at home repeatedly, right? Therefore, content copyright is also very important. Having a powerful content treasure trove can not only help increase VCD sales, but also make money. For example, you can remake movies, or when the internet becomes popular, you can also sell the copyright to video websites. For example, Sony, the island nation's twin giants in electronics and entertainment, acquired Hollywood giant Columbia, which had debts of $1.6 billion at the time, for $5 billion in 1989. At the time, the acquisition shocked the world. He is also called by many people as a fool with too much money. In fact, Sony did not suffer any loss from this acquisition, even if it is losing money every year. But Sony made its money back elsewhere. At that time, Sony, under the leadership of Akio Morita, acquired Colombia. The reason was that the island country suddenly became rich after the Plaza Accord and was buying and selling in Country M. They even clamored that Country M could be bought by selling Tokyo. This greatly stimulated the self-esteem of Country M. There has also been a phenomenon of boycotting island people and products. As an electronics giant, Sony, if its electronic products and game products lose the world's largest market in Country M, the consequences will undoubtedly be serious. Furthermore, Sony was competing with Panasonic for the Country M market at that time. Therefore, Akio Morita set his sights on Hollywood, the holy land in the hearts of Chinese people. I hope to integrate Sony into the culture of Country M. This led to this shocking acquisition. After the acquisition, Sony, with the help of CBS and its related companies, not only quickly sold Sony's electronic products, but also completely defeated Panasonic. Although he was sued a lot during the process, he won another battle. Under the premise of having a debt of 1.6 billion US dollars, it was acquired for 5 billion US dollars. In addition to the channels just mentioned, the brand and film library are even more important. With up to 5,000 movies, Sony has become a Hollywood giant. The subsequent acquisition of MGM in 2005 for 4.8 billion US dollars had the same purpose. One is to expand Sony's influence in the cultural circle of country M, shape Sony's character in the United States, and make its electronic products sell well in country M. The second is the library of favorite movies. After acquiring these two film companies, Sony became the largest film giant in Hollywood at the time, and also laid the foundation for its subsequent transformation into a cultural and creative giant. Therefore, the importance of film library resources is self-evident. The company with the largest film library in Hong Kong is undoubtedly the closed Shaw Brothers Pictures, followed by Golden Harvest, New Art City, DeBeo, and so on. As for New World, three films have been released so far, and four more are being filmed. Just these few film sources cannot play a role in driving VCD sales. Therefore, it is now necessary to acquire the film copyrights of Shaw Brothers Pictures. If possible, Jiang Feng would like to acquire the copyrights of all film companies. However, with his current relationship with Jiaha, I'm afraid it will be difficult to negotiate. Awan, help me contact Mr. Xiao and tell him that I will come to visit at 3 p.m. Jiang Feng said to Wan Qiwen, who was filling his water glass. He has always been a man of action. Now that he has made up his mind, he must act quickly. Once he has the film library of Shaw Brothers and other movies, Will he cooperate with the Xiang brothers? It all depends on his mood. If he is in a good mood, he can get a share of Xiang Jia's pie in the disc market. If he is in a bad mood, he will eat alone, and there is nothing he can do to Xiang Jia's family. Why did you date Mr. Xiao? Wan Qiwen asked curiously. I have something to ask him about. Seeing that Jiang Feng was unwilling to say more, Wan Qiwen didn't ask any more questions, nodded and said, Okay, and waited for Wan Qiwen to leave. Zhang Feng thought for a while and decided that Jiaha's film library could not be given up. After all,
Golden Harvest has produced hundreds of movies, and the quality of these movies is relatively higher than that of Shaw Brothers. Most of the films produced by Shaw Brothers were inferior to those produced in the 1960s and 1970s, unlike Jaha, mainly the 80s. In addition, Jaha owns many of Chung Long's movies, but New World has already reached a stalemate with Zhou Wanhui, although it's not him, but Zhang Feng is the boss of New World Group after all. Presumably Zhou Wanhui didn't like to see him either. It seems that we need to find a middleman to test it out. He pondered for a moment. Zhang Feng picked up the phone and called Hong Jingbao. Toot toot. It rang a few times before I got through. Hello, who is this? On the phone, Hong Jingbao's voice and a sound of kicking were heard. It's me, Jiang Feng. Jiang Feng said lightly. Ah, Mr. Jiang. Jiang Feng felt it clearly. After hearing that it was him, his tone of voice became obviously more respectful. Well, are you free now? I want to talk to you about something. Right now. I'm afraid I have to wait half an hour. Jiang. Feng frowned. He heard that Hong Jingbao was hesitant, so he said, if it's inconvenient for you, you can change it to tomorrow. Although this matter is very important, Zhang Feng is not the kind of person who has to rush this moment. No, no, I'm fine. I'll be here right away. Okay, I'll wait for you at the company. Anyway, I have already said the polite words. It was Hong Jingbao who insisted on coming. Over there, Hong Jingbao hung up the phone. He quickly got up from the bed and hurriedly put on his clothes. Honey, what are you going to do? At this time, a lazy woman appeared on the bed, grabbing the quilt and looking at him. Hong Jingbao said without looking back, Mr. Jiang called and said that he has something to do with me. I have to go back to the company immediately. Trip. Mr. Jiang? The woman was stunned for a moment. Her eyes moved slightly and she said, Is it Mr. Jiang, the richest man in Hong Kong? Call. After putting on his trousers, Hong Jingbao stood up and stretched his waist. Aside from him, there will be a second person named Jiang and Xiang Jiang. Is it worthy of my attention? Okay. I won't tell you anymore. I am leaving. I won't be back for lunch at noon. You can cook something yourself or go downstairs to buy something to eat. I'll put the money on the bedside table and you can take it yourself. Well, I get it. Go ahead. The woman waved her hand indicating that there was no need to worry about her. Hong Jingbao nodded. Then he turned and left the room. More than 20 minutes later, Wan Shiwen walked in, looked at Zhang Feng and said, Mr. Hong is here. Well, let him in. Zhang Feng said with a smile. Good. Wan Shiwen nodded, and after a while, she led Hong Jingbao in. Mr. Jiang. Seeing Zhang Feng, Hong Jingbao stepped forward quickly. Zhang Feng put down the pin in his hand stood up, and said to Hong Jingbao with a smile, sit down, feel free to do it, don't be so polite. They are all from the company, no outsiders. As he said this, Zhang Feng said to Wan Chiwen, on, go and give Mr. Hong a cup of tea. Okay. Wan Chiwen smiled and nodded. No, I'm not thirsty. Hong Jingbao still didn't dare to ask the boss's woman to pour him tea. Although he has never seen the boss make it public, Gossip in the company knows that the boss has a close relationship with this long-legged and sexy female secretary, and some people even she said that she saw Jiang Feng and her shopping together and behaved intimately. In addition, Wan Chiwen, whom Jiang Feng had just been close to, was on. Hong Jingbao was even more convinced that this rumor was true. Wan Chiwen smiled and stepped forward. He walked out slowly. Jiang Feng shook his head slightly and said nothing. After he took his seat, Jiang Feng said, I called you here today because there is something I need to get rid of you. Mr. Jiang, please speak. Hong Jingbao nodded and said seriously, This is the case. The company plans to purchase the film rights produced by three film companies, Golden Harvest, Debeo, and New Art City. Because there was a conflict between New World and Jiaha before, I want to get rid of you and be a middleman. First, I want to understand Zhou Wanhui's thoughts and find out whether he is willing to sell. After all, you stayed in Jiaha for a long time before. I think your relationship should be good. After a pause, Jiang Feng continued, Of course, if you don't want to, don't force me. I will find someone else. No need to find anyone else, just me. Hong Jingbao said decisively. Jiang Feng looked at him. Don't you think about it anymore? Hong Jingbao shook his head. 
No need to think about it. Zhang Feng nodded. He was very satisfied with Hong Jingbao's attitude. He did not refuse, but directly agreed. After the formal chat, Zhang Feng, who was in a happy mood, smiled and said to Hong Jingbao, How are the preparations for the new movie going? Sample? What do you plan to start shooting? Listening to Jiang Feng talking about the movie, Hong Jingbao's energy suddenly perked up and he said with a smile, We're still choosing roles. What kind of movie are you planning to make this time? Or should you continue to make funny ghost movies? Jiang Feng asked with a smile. Hong Jingbao blushed and nodded. In fact, zombie movies have already declined, and there is no point in making sequels. There is only so much potential. Actually, Zhang Feng doesn't agree with Hong Jingbao making zombie movies. The audience for such movies is too small. The mainland can't make hundreds of millions, and it's not very popular in the Bay Area. If you can make money, you can rely on Southeast Asia. But, in Southeast Asia, Bien is really not interested in shoddy zombie movies. This is why the film and video copyright of Ghost Eats Ghost in Southeast Asia is only more than 10 million. I know that too but I still have a Hong family class to lead, and besides, I don't have a very good script right now, so I can only make a ghost movie first. Hong Jingbao said helplessly. He also makes action movies. He lost a lot of money by co-investing in Oriental Condor with Jaha. He invested more than 10 million yuan and the box office was 21 million yuan. After excluding the share, he still lost money. In addition to the sensitive subject matter, which involved South Vietnam and other Southeast Asian countries, the copyright was not sold, and no one even bought the videotape. In the end, I made some money by selling it to 20th Century Fortune Hong Kong Legends Company and distributing the videotape. But compared to the total investment, was negligible. It was precisely because of this movie that he fell out of favor in Jaha, and then Jaha fully supported Chung Long. I have a good script here. Do you want to try it? Looking at Hong Jingbao, Zhang Feng smiled and said, I think it suits you very well. What script? Hong Jingbao's eyes lit up. Although not many people knew about the fact that the big boss gave out four scripts, he happened to know it. The script of Playing Back to School, starring Zhou Xingxing and directed by Chen Jiaxiang, is currently being filmed. It was written by Jiang Feng. The plot is very good and quite funny. Could it be that he is planning to come up with another comedy-style script? Just when Hong Jingbao was guessing, Zhang Feng wrote, the synopsis of the story, Slaying the Wolf, was handed to Hong Jingbao. Look how it goes. Hong Jingbao quickly took over the script and read it carefully. Zhang Feng was not in a hurry. He drank the tea poured by Wan Qiwen and tasted it slowly. Okay, this script is so good and wonderful. It makes my blood boil to watch. As he said that, Hong Jingbao looked at Zhang Feng like a god. Mr. Jiang. Are you really going to let me take the photo? Yes, neither. Zhang Feng said with a smile, I plan to let you be the lead actor and martial arts director for this movie. If the director wants to do it, let Liu Weichang do it. Oh, a trace of disappointment flashed in Hong Jingbao's eyes. Martial arts directors and directors are not on the same level at all. This is like the relationship between a minister and an emperor. Zhang Feng saw the disappointment in Hong Jingbao's eyes and said seriously, I plan to invest a huge amount of money this time because I plan to rush in. Martial arts guidance is also very important. The original story is different. First, the matter of fabricating evidence was corrected. The original version could not be released because it portrayed the police as gray characters. Secondly, a new plot was added, in which the American Laundry Detergent Organization traded with Wang Bao and dealt with the traitor, who was then filmed by a fool. Without changing the essence of martial arts fighting, new plots are added. At this time, in Hollywood, it would be difficult for Xia people to star in films that would have a big impact in the American market. Therefore, co-production is the only way. Of course, if Jiang Feng does not consider the European and American markets, he can use all Xiangjiang people. However, it would be a bit wasteful to leave a large ticket bank as big as Country M without making any profit. When he came up with the script of Slaying the Wolf, Zhang Feng actually had a small idea, which was to let Europe and the United States see that Xiang Jiang can also produce exciting action blockbusters, instead of just making some low-cost, small production movies. When he heard about the plan for a Chinese foreign co-production, Hong Jingbao's expression changed instantly. 
Then he nodded with a flushed face and said, Boss, I accepted this movie, and I agree with Rin Wei Chung to be the director. Chung Long is not the only one who has the Hollywood dream. So does he. It's just that there has never been a good opportunity. Thinking that Chung Long was now more popular than him, it was impossible for Hong Jingbao not to be jealous. Now the opportunity has come, regardless of whether it succeeds or not, at least he has to give it a try. After seeing Hong Jingbao's agreement, Jiang Feng said, Okay, I'll put the script here for now. I will talk to Mr. Shur and let the company's screenwriter perfect the details. Okay, Mr. Jiang. After chatting for a while, Hong Jingbao got up and left. After he left, Jiang Feng called Shur Nansheng. He handed her the script in his hand and told her to complete it as soon as possible. 3 p.m., Jiang Feng arrived at the TVB building. Mr. Jiang. Fang Yihua, who had already received the news, quickly greeted Jiang Feng's motorcade when he saw it coming. Hello, Mr. Fong. Jiang Feng shook hands with her with a smile. Looking at the big man in front of him who was already the richest man in Hong Kong at such a young age, Fang Yihua would be lying if he wasn't shocked. Although he was shocked by the speed of Jiang Feng's rise, Fang Yihua was not she didn't act humble or flattering. After all, she was also a respectable person. Behind her, stood the godfather of Xiangjiang Entertainment. Suppressing the complicated emotions in her heart, Fang Yihua made a gesture of invitation with a smile on her face. Mr. Jiang, please come in. Jiang Feng nodded. Be the first to go. Today is different from the past. He is no longer the famous young man, but a super rich man with assets of nearly 100 billion. You still have to have the attitude you should have. Hello, Mr. Jiang. Fang Hao. Hello, Mr. Jiang. He met many TVB staff along the way, and they all greeted him. Jiang Feng smiled and nodded. This gesture made many TVB employees very excited. I didn't expect that Mr. Jiang is not only rich, but also such a gentleman. I saw that he just smiled at me. Be a nympho. Is that a smile at you? That was obviously aimed at all of us. It's just that someone is a nymphomaniac again. So I don't say anything. Mr. Jiang is so handsome. The perfect man. I really want to be his woman. Tisk, even if you deliver it to your door, no one will want it. Zhang Feng, who was walking in front, could hear some of the discussion behind him and couldn't help but smile. Mr. Zhang's charm is so great that he has fascinated all the employees of our wireless station. Fang Yihua on the side joked. Zhang Feng smiled lightly. Soon, under the leadership of Fang Yihua, Zhang Feng met Xiao Yifu. Mr. Xiao. Zhang Feng stepped forward and reached out his hand. Mr. Jiang. Xiao Yifu shook hands with him with a smile. Then he made a gesture of invitation. Please sit down. Jiang Feng nodded. He sat down casually. Mr. Jiang, what would you like to drink? Tea or coffee? Café. Jiang Feng said casually. Xiao Yifu nodded and asked someone to pour him a cup of coffee. Then he sat down opposite Jiang Feng. I don't know. Mr. Jiang came to my place, but what's the matter? Xiao Yifu asked kindly. Not to mention the advertising cooperation between Jiang Feng's company and the wireless station. Just because Master Kong Group made him a fortune when it went public, Xiao Yifu had a good impression of the rising star in front of him. Hearing that Xiao and Kazuo asked, Jiang Feng paused and said straightforwardly, To be honest, this date with Mr. Xiao is mainly for Shaw Brothers Pictures. Shaw Brothers Pictures? Xiao Yifu was stunned. Shaw Brothers Pictures has gone out of business. What else can happen? After a pause, Xiao Yifu was not sure what Jiang Feng meant. So he asked, Mr. Jiang, what do you mean? Mr. Xiao, I plan to buy the rights to all the movies produced by Shaw Brothers Pictures. Jiang Feng said his purpose very straightforwardly without beating around the bush. Do you want to buy the rights to all Shaw Brothers movies? Xiao Yifu was surprised. Although he didn't know how many movies Shaw Brothers Pictures had produced, he thought there were hundreds. These movies are all outdated. Some of them are more than 20 years old, and they cost a lot to repair. Money. Not much value. But Zhang Feng wanted to buy all the movie copyrights at once. Do you think these movies are still valuable? Xiao Yifu frowned. He couldn't understand Jiang Feng's purpose in buying the copyrights of these movies. After thinking for a moment, Xiao Yifu looked at Jiang Feng with a slightly sharp look and said, I would like to ask Mr. Jiang, 
What is the purpose of buying these outdated movie copyrights? Is such that someone in the company made a suggestion, saying that Xiangjiang films were very popular in the mainland. So I thought about buying the film library of Shaw Brothers, making them into videotapes, and selling them to the mainland. Zhang Feng said half truthfully. So this is ah. Uh. Xiaoyifu suddenly laughed. He thought these movies had other uses. He had known about the videotape business for a long time. There was a lot of profit in it, but the cost of recording was too high, and piracy was rampant, so the sales were high. No one bought it, and the price was low and a loss. Moreover, there were too many interest groups involved. He was already over 80 years old, and he didn't want to deal with these groups. Otherwise, he would have done it long ago, and there was no need to wait until Jiang Feng came to ask now. After understanding that there was no other use, Xiao Yifu said generously, Since you want it, let's sell it to you. I'll ask someone to count how many movies there are and then talk about the price. Zhang Feng was overjoyed. He quickly said, Thank you very much, Mr. Xiao. I still have to thank you, Xiao Yifu said with a smile. Putting it there requires spending a sum of money every year to maintain it, and you can't lose it. It's fine now. If you buy it, it will solve a big problem for me. Mr. Jiang, your coffee. Fang Yihua came over with coffee. Zhang Feng quickly took it, nodded and thanked. Sorry for bothering you. Polite. Fang Yihua said with a smile. Yihua, you are here just in time. Please go and arrange something. Check how many movies we have in total. When Xiao Yifu saw Fang Yihua coming, he gave orders directly. Ah, why are you checking this thing? Fang Yihua was stunned for a moment and then frowned. Now Shaw Brothers Films is closed. Fang Yihua doesn't want to restart Shaw Brothers Films. If Xiao Yifu hadn't stopped her, she would have shut down Shaw Brothers Films directly instead of like now is out of business. Xiao Yifu explained, Mr. Jiang wants to buy the rights to these movies, so I asked you to make statistics. Oh, Fang Yihua breathed a sigh of relief. Okay, I'll check it out right away. Fang Yihua left the office quickly. Zhang Feng chatted with Xiao Yifu. After waiting for about 20 minutes, Fang Yihua came slowly. After counting, there are 760 movies in total. Xiao Yifu nodded. He looked at Zhang Feng, Mr. Zhang, if you want the rights to all 760 movies, just 50 million Hong Kong dollars. 50 million Hong Kong dollars. Bought the rights to 760 movies. Zhang Feng felt it was very worthwhile. Among other things, Orange Sky spent 400 million to buy 760 Shaw Brothers movies in 2003. Now he only needs 5,000, you can buy it for 10,000 renminbi. Zhang Feng thinks it's worth it. Thank you very much, Mr. Xiao. Zhang Feng said to Xiao Yifu with a grateful look on his face. After acquiring the film library of Shaw Brothers, it is equivalent to having more than 760 movies. Even if Jiaha cannot reach an agreement, there is still enough film resource library to promote the development of VCD. It seemed like a goddess was watching over him. After Zhang Feng took care of Xiao Yifu, there is also good news from Hong Jingbao. Debeo and Sini City are willing to sell all their film rights to Jiang Feng. The price is not expensive, and Debeo's movie rights are almost given away. After all, Jiang Feng and Pandishing have a very good relationship in private. It's even simpler here in Sini City. At the end of last year, Sini City announced its closure. Several giants of the company fell apart and left each other. After learning that Hong Jingbao was purchasing the film rights on behalf of New World, Major shareholder Lei Jukin and frustrated Mark Jia agreed to the sale without much hesitation. The two companies purchased the copyrights for a total of 147 movies for less than 22 million Hong Kong dollars. Zhang Feng was not surprised when Jia Ha learned that he wanted to purchase the movie rights on behalf of New World. Zhou Wenhui directly rejected Hong Jingbao without much thought, claiming that as long as he was in Jia Ha for one day, Jia Ha would never cooperate with New World. When Hong Jingbao told Jiang Feng what he said, Jiang Feng's face turned gloomy instantly. Mr. Jiang, I'm sorry, I failed in this matter. Hong Jingbao said very apologetically. He didn't know why Jiang Feng bought so many old movie rights, but Jiang Feng gave him this task, but he failed to complete it. He betrayed Jiang Feng's trust. This made he felt very sorry in his heart. He took a deep breath. Looking at Hong Jingbao who was apologizing, Zhang Feng waved his hand and said, 
This matter is none of your business, it is my problem. Since Jaha no longer sells it, there is no need to buy it anymore. You go and talk to Mr. Sure about the new movie. Looking at Hong Jingbao, Jiang Feng said lightly. Yes, Hong Jingbao no dead. He turned around and quietly exited the room. After Hong Jingbao left, Jiang Feng could no longer hold back the anger in his heart. For a moment, many broken sounds sounded in his office. He was frightened. Wan Chi went outside, and even the people working on the entire floor jumped. They all looked at Jiang Feng's office. What happened? Have no idea. I have been here for more than a year, and I have never seen the boss so angry. Yes, the boss is so nice. Who made him angry? Several young women whispered. Okay, don't talk about it anymore, just work with peace of mind. The women's boss said with a cold face. Yes, team leader. The girls spat out their sweet tongues, then turned around and started working. Here, Wan Chiwen quickly pushed open the door of Jiang Feng's office. He glanced at the broken porcelain on the ground, and then looked at the sofa chair. Jiang Feng walked over quickly and asked with concern, Brother Feng, what's wrong with you? Who made you so angry? Jiang. Feng shook his head slightly. It's okay. You can ask the cleaners to clean it. All right. Wan Chiwen nodded. Then he warned, if you feel uncomfortable, go home. Um. Zhang Feng responded softly. After a while, Wan Chiwen came back with three cleaners and cleaned up all the broken dregs in the room. After signaling that he was fine, Zhang Feng buried his head in thinking about the problem of VCD production. Regarding research and development, Zhang Feng is not too worried as the technology is mature. The original cast again. There is no reason why it cannot be developed. But production is a problem. There is basically no semiconductor manufacturing industry in Hong Kong. There are some in China. However, the technology is relatively backward and the production capacity is very limited. Once VCD becomes popular, it is possible to sell millions or even millions of units annually. Think about it. At present, Wan Wan is the most suitable for Jiang Feng. The island countries in South Korea could have done the same. Both countries are major players in the semiconductor electronics industry. Even if something is produced, transportation costs and labor costs add up, and profits are diluted. But Wanwan is different. Not only in terms of distance and labor costs, Wanwan is far lower than the island countries and South Korea. Furthermore, many electronics companies in Taiwan have factories in the mainland, which can reduce a lot of costs. Think of this. Zhang Feng narrowed his eyes slightly and then murmured to himself. It seems that I have to take some time to go to Wan Wan. Originally, Jiang Feng planned to go to Wan Wan the next day. But one thing made him stop. In two days, the first batch of cars produced in Pengcheng will be transported to Xiangjiang and officially launched. January 10th. The first batch of 3,000 BMW 3 and 500 Mercedes, Benz 1 and 19 Asia Dragon. All arrived at Xiangjiang Kwai Chung International Terminal. Before 3 p.m., all BMW 3 and Mercedes-Benz 1 had been delivered to major car dealerships in Hong Kong. When everything is ready. Same day. Evening, 7.29. After finishing his meal, Zhang Feng sat on the sofa in the living room, turned on the TV, and chose to play wireless news channel. Tick, tick, tick. The hour hand is turning. At 29 minutes and 30 seconds, the television changed sides. Young, Beautiful and long-legged Wang Zuxian walked out of a villa wearing sunglasses. Came next to BMW 3. Pressed to unlock if. Didi. Several beeps. The car door opened immediately. Then he sat in. Buzz. With a bass roar, we started driving on the road. There were beautiful coastal scenery along the way. The road seemed to be like a line with the seawater. Then a quagmire appeared in front of us. The car jumped over and passed the quagmire. Only a series of ripples were left. Then the screen changed again. The car came to the mountain and drove along the winding and spiral road. Every time I thought it was at the top of the mountain, there would always be a road, as if it were endless. At this time, the screen changed and it turned to the inside of the car, reflected on Wang Zuxian's delicate cheeks. Suddenly, a voiceover sounded. The road is not over yet. The journey will continue. BMW the car of Xiangjiang people. Together, Wang Zuxian's dubbing voice rang out. Then, the scene that stopped was of BMW 3 parked on the top of the mountain. 
Wang Zuxian was sitting on the front of BMW 3, with his hands crossed and his feet on the ground, with a smile on his face. The screen stopped momentarily. After a few seconds it disappeared. The advertisement was only 10 seconds long, but many fans said they still wanted to see Wang Zuxian dressed as a professional female elite. In this life, Zhang Feng intervened. Wang Zuxian naturally has fewer bad movies. Dressed like a professional female elite, she fully demonstrates the charm of urban women. Not to mention ordinary people. Even Jiang Feng's eyes lit up, and he secretly said that Wang Zuxian looks so beautiful as a working woman. Jiang Feng is quite satisfied with this BMW advertisement. The advertising slogan fits BMW's tone very well. In order to create a good sales start for BMW, the wealthy Jiang Feng asked Sun Bin, then the deputy general manager of Shenlong Motors, to directly contract advertising for TVB News Channel for a quarter. Speaking of Sun Bin, also a great talent, graduated from Nagoya University in mechanical engineering. After graduation, he worked as an electrical integration engineer at Mitsubishi Motors. He worked at Mitsubishi for five years and was then hired by Toyota to be responsible for product management. He was later promoted to vice president of marketing, distribution business, and Xiangjiang region. I worked at Toyota for eight years. Until he was poached by Jiang Feng with an annual salary of 420,000 Hong Kong dollars. He serves as the general manager of Shenlong Automobile and Paul is the deputy general manager responsible for European and American business. After all, Sun Bin has worked in the island country and Xiangjiang for a long time and is familiar with the Asian market and his competitors Toyota, Mitsubishi, and other Japanese brand cars. It is most suitable for him to take charge of Shenlong. Although Paul is not bad, after all, he has been in Europe for a long time and still has certain deficiencies in Asian consumption knowledge and brands. I don't even understand the car-using philosophy of mainlanders. So, after considering everything, Jiang Feng appointed Sun Bin as the general manager of the company, fully responsible for the affairs of Shenlong Automobile. Using this kind of money-splitting advertising is almost brainwashing. Eventually, whenever I think of buying a car, I have the impression of the BMW brand in my mind. In fact, there are not many car manufacturers advertising in Hong Kong these days. New cars such as Toyota and Mercedes will be advertised on Xiangjiang TVB when they are launched. But more of a show car. There's no plot, and it looks boring. There is no celebrity spokesperson integrated into the advertisement. BMW's combination of plot and endorsement by the hottest actress is refreshing for people in Hong Kong who are used to boring car promotional videos. Of course, it doesn't matter how good the advertisement is. The key is whether the advertising effect can be converted into customers and sales. In fact, Jiang Feng's worries were unnecessary. The next day, afternoon, when he got off work, Jiang Feng made a special trip to the car dealership near Central to check out the situation. Good guy. The car dealership called Shenghao Automobile was actually full of people, instructing the bodyguards to wait outside. Jiang Feng went in and listened. They all placed orders for BMW 3 from the car dealer. Plus. Large area advertisements are placed in newspapers such as New World Daily and Sing Tao Daily, buses, ferries, and subway stations. It has reached the point where everyone knows it. Maybe you don't know Mercedes-Benz or Toyota, but you definitely know BMW. This is a car brand that the people of Xiangjiang will remember after crazy brainwashing. That's all. BMW is completely popular. In a week of crazy advertising, all 3,000 units shipped from Pengcheng were sold out, and even nearly 100 Mercedes-Benz 1 units were sold. Despite these days, many people in Hong Kong still live in public housing. They may not be able to afford a house. After all, a house, even if it is only 30 square meters, costs more than 500,000 to 700,000 Hong Kong dollars. But that doesn't mean you can't afford a BMW 3. In 1991, the per capita annual income in Xiangjiang exceeded 13,500 US dollars. That works out to almost 105,300 Hong Kong dollars. People in Xiangjiang are not as fond of saving money as in mainland China, especially the younger generation, like white collar workers working in companies who are more advocating enjoying life. Buy a BMW 3 worth over 100,000 yuan without having to squeeze into the subway. On weekends, you can also travel by car. 
More importantly, you can also play with horses. The good-looking appearance of the BMW 3 puts it aside the cars from an island nation and those from countries M and D. The price is still hundreds of thousands less. Performance and fuel can also put some people at ease who can't afford a car. In this era when fuel consumption is 10 or even 12 per 100 kilometers, BMW's fuel consumption of 7 per 100 kilometers is undoubtedly favored by some people whose family finances are relatively poor. Orders came in like a flood. Soon, some car dealers took a dozen or more BMW 3s and sold them out. I called immediately and wanted to bring some BMW 3 cars over. After Zhang Feng received the list handed over by Sunbin, he couldn't help but feel refreshed. Sales volume reached 3,000 tails of BMW 3 in one week, and 1,000 new orders were placed. If such results were to spread, I am afraid that many automobile giants such as the island country, country M, country D, etc. would be in an uproar. You know, they may not be able to sell so many cars in Xiangjiang for a few years. Even the best-selling Toyota in Xiangjiang only sells 5,000 or 6,000 vehicles a year. That's like BMW, which sold 3,000 units in a week. In addition, there are more than 1,000 additional orders. The next day, under Jiang Feng's instruction, the New World, Tao News, Nanjing Morning Post, and many other newspapers published the news. The rise of domestic products. BMW sold more than 3,000 units within one week of its launch. When the news came out, the entire Xiangjiang automobile industry was shocked. Sales volume exceeds 3,000 units a week. Many car representatives in Hong Kong, including the island nation, were all dumbfounded. When? Is the island country's car market so big? More than 3,000 vehicles. Many car representatives including Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Mitsubishi, Honda, and others cried and fainted in the toilet. They have been operating in Xiangjiang for many years. They haven't sold so much in total. Result. A fledgling car brand actually sold more than 3,000 vehicles in one week, along with the wailing and mourning of many automobile giants. Instead, the people in Xiangjiang rejoiced. They had all speculated that BMW would sell well. After all, pricing starts at 199,800. It is the cheapest among the three models of Shenlong Motors. Mercedes-Benz 1, the official price is 232,800 Hong Kong dollars. Asia Dragon 1, as Shenlong Chi. The pinnacle of manufacturing, the official selling price is 2.99 million Hong Kong dollars, limited to 100 units per year. However, they did not expect that BMW could sell so well. More than 3,000 units were sold in a week. You know, the population of Xiangjiang was only over 5.7 million at this time. More than 3,000 vehicles, equivalent to one person and more than 1,000 people buying a BMW 3. This ratio has to be said to be astonishing in this era. You know, this is an average. After deducting the previous car ownership in Xiangjiang, the data is even more astonishing. Repulse Bay. Zhang Family. You're back, Lee Jessen, who was watching TV in the living room saw Jiang Feng coming back and hurriedly greeted him. While helping him take off his coat, he asked, Why did you come back so early today? There was nothing important in the company, so he came back. Well, where are the two of them? Jiang Feng glanced around, but did not see Chun Faranging or Wan Chiwen. Li Jessen rolled her eyes at him. You don't even know, how could I know? Handing Jiang Feng's coat to the Filipino maid, Li Jessen stepped forward and hugged Jiang Feng's arm. Brother Feng. The cafe for the three of us will open tomorrow. Oh, good thing. Jiang. Feng was stunned for a moment, then smiled and said, You guys are pretty fast. You've already finished it in less than two months? I sat down on the sofa. I picked up an apple and started peeling it slowly with a fruit knife. Of course it's fast. This is our first time starting a business. Glancing at Jiang Feng who was peeling an apple, Li Jessen blinked and rolled his eyes. He came to Jiang Feng sat down, and said in a coquettish tone, Brother Feng, can I ask you a favor? Zhang Feng asked casually, What's the matter? Li. Justin looked at Zhang Feng and said, Help us cut the ribbon. Cutting the ribbon? Zhang Feng looked slightly stunned. Then he guessed the purpose of Li Justin's doing this. He couldn't help but secretly sighed at his cleverness. If he, a rich man, went to attend the ribbon-cutting ceremony of a little-known coffee shop that had just opened, 
then it would definitely become a celebrity in Hong Kong. News on the front page of a major newspaper or in the entertainment section. By then, everyone in Hong Kong will know about it. In this way, using Jiang Feng's reputation, the coffee shop will not be a household name yet. There will definitely be many people coming here. Let's see what kind of coffee shop can make the richest man in Hong Kong cut the ribbon. When you come to the coffee shop, why don't you order a cup of coffee and try some snacks? These customers are all real money. The business is bound to explode. In this way, come on, the coffee shop not only saves on advertising costs, but also makes the business more popular. It kills two birds with one stone. How about it? Brother Fong, do you agree or not? Li Justin saw that Zhang Feng remained silent. So she held Zhang Feng's arm and shook it in front of the red panda. Zhang Feng handed half of the peeled apple to Li Justin, then picked up the remaining half and took a bite while eating Bian said, You want me to advertise for you? Okay. But you have to pay advertising fees and remuneration. Also, did Xiaorong come up with this idea? Let you be the lobbyist? What Li Justin was a little unhappy, pointed at herself, and said loudly, This attention is my own thought and has nothing to do with her. What do you think? Zhang Feng looked surprised. Certainly. Li Jiusen raised her head proudly, as proud as a swan. Zhang Feng touched her hair and asked with interest, Tell me, how do you plan to run the coffee shop? Li Jiusen was very happy when she saw Zhang Feng's interest and slowly said, I plan to invite you, as well as Wang Zuxian, Zhang Guorong and others. In this way, we have you in the business world, Zuxian in the film industry, and Zhang Guorong in the music industry. All we need to do is find some reporters, and we will definitely make the headlines, at least in the next few days. The store will definitely attract a lot of customers. At that time, as long as the taste and service are good, there is no need to worry about no customers in the future. As he spoke, he raised his little head and said to Zhang Feng, How is it? What's my idea? Ba Bang. Zhang Feng applauded. He was really surprised by Li Jiusen. If he was a business practitioner, Zhang Feng would not be surprised at all. After all, this kind of speculation through celebrities is not considered strange. However, when it comes to Li Jiusen, she thought of it alone. That is worthy of Zhang Feng's admiration. His impression of Li Jiusen has always been that of a stay-at-home wife who spends money and raises children. Unexpectedly, today's words made him realize and surprise that. Li Jiusen was actually capable. However, he had ignored it before. Seeing Zhang Feng applauding, Li Jiusen seemed to be inspired and continued with a smile. That's not all. I specially found someone to print thousands of advertising leaflets and asked On and Xiaorong to go to your company to distribute the leaflets. Hee <laughs> hee, come to think of it, at least there are people in your company who sell their face. Don't say much more, there are so many people in your company so it shouldn't be a problem to have two to three thousand people. Did you activate both of them and let them go to the company to distribute flyers? Zhang Feng is really eye-opening this time. This marketing routine is one link after another. If Wan Chiwen and Chan Farong really go to the company to distribute flyers, one is the boss's secretary, and it is said that they have a lot of personal connections. One is the boss's assistant. Just don't look at the monk's face but also the Buddha's face, let alone two or three thousand people. Zhang Feng estimates that there will be at least seven or eight thousand people. Don't say anything else. The company's employees alone can make Li Justin's it's no problem for a coffee shop to earn one million Hong Kong dollars a month. Why don't you start it? They are the shareholders of the coffee shop, so of course they have to contribute. I can't contribute alone, and the two of them can just sit back and enjoy the benefits. After saying that, he put his arm around Zhang Feng, shook Yao and said, How is it? Do you agree or not? Suppressing his thoughts, Zhang Feng fondly touched her fair face and said with a smile, Fool, you have already asked me, how can I not agree? Yeah. Li Jiusen said happily, You promised nine o'clock tomorrow morning, remember? Zhang Feng smiled. He put his arms around Li Jiusen's waist and thought about other things. Night. Chen Farong and Wan Chiwen are both back. The four of them sat at the dining table, enjoying the private dishes prepared by the top chef of the former Peninsula Hotel. I poured a bowl of chicken soup into the bowl with a spoon and took two sips. Chen Farong said casually, Brother Feng, 
I heard from the newspaper that all BMW cars have been sold out? Um. He responded casually. Zhang Feng picked up the spoon and spooned a bowl into his own bowl. He drank slowly. The soup is very thick and has just the right taste, neither salty nor bland. The chicken juice is concentrated in it, giving it a thick texture. The soup tastes sticky and fresh but not greasy. When will the next batch arrive? Chun Farong asked. How? Zhang Feng took a sip and looked up at Chun Farong. You want one? Um. Chun Farang's little head nodded. Zhang Feng smiled. That's good. You don't have to wait for the next batch. I'll have someone deliver it tomorrow. I also want. And I. Looking at Li Jiusin and Wan Chiwen, Zhang Feng smiled. Okay. Everyone has one. In fact, there were 306 cars in the first batch of cars shipped, and those six cars were given away by Jiang Feng, so the number announced to the outside world was 3,000 cars. Hearing that they also had it, the two women smiled. In fact, they didn't have to ask for a BMW. They just wanted to tell Jiang Feng to treat everyone equally and not be partial. At this point, how could Jiang Feng not know? Therefore, when giving gifts, he usually sells four copies. Of course, the three girls don't know now that he also raised one outside. Zhang Feng was also happy that they didn't know. In this way, you can also find some excitement. After eating, Zhang Feng and the three girls sat on the sofa and watched TV. Once Upon a Time in China, starring Aaron Kwok was playing on the TV. The three girls watched it with gusto and talked about the plot from time to time. Zhang Feng was not interested. While handing candies to the three girls, I was thinking about the company. Among the carriages now, the one Jiang Feng is least worried about is Master Kong. Master Kong's main business has shifted from instant noodles to beverages. Coke sales are number one in mainland China, Hong Kong, Ao Dao, and Wan Wan. Old rivals Coca-Cola and PepsiCo are behind. In the mainland and Wan Wan, the competition is tight, and there is no overwhelming advantage. But on milk drinks, Master Kong is one of a kind. It's Wangzai Milk, Waha AD Milk, Nutrition Express, Yogurt and Vita Soy basically dominate the dairy products in the entire mainland, Xiangjiang, Bay and Ao Island, and the five major brands occupy the top five dairy products all year round. Not only that, it is also exported to Southeast Asia, island countries, and South Korea. Become Asia's largest dairy beverage company. There are more than a dozen cooperative ranches alone, including many high-quality milk supply ranches such as Argentina, Kangaroo, and New Zealand. The two main businesses support the first Hong Kong stock, Master Kong Group, with a market value of $190 billion. However, Master Kong did not stop. Sunway holds a large amount of capital flow. The rhythm of buying and selling started. First, Lee Kum Kee, the king of Hong Kong condiments, was swallowed for 2.6 billion Hong Kong dollars. Lee Kum Kee's status in Xiangjiang is even more impressive than Haitian soy sauce in the mainland. When Haitian flavor industry was listed, its highest market value was only 277.9 billion. Annual profit is 7.8 billion. Although Lee Kum Kee is not listed on the market, but the annual profit is 55.7 billion, which is eight times that of Haitian flavor industry. The market value assessed by the market is as high as nearly 800 billion Hong Kong dollars. He is a veritable super giant. However, this giant has kept a low profile and has not been listed on the market. Today, it was bought by Sunway for 2.6 billion Hong Kong dollars. After acquiring Lee Kum Kee, it also acquired Maxim's Food Group, which specializes in catering and dessert cakes, for 1.7 billion Hong Kong dollars. The acquisitions of the two companies did not stop Master Kong's expansion. A new subsidiary was established, Master Kong's non-staple food. After spending a lot of money to dig out corners, more than 20 kinds of snacks such as chewing gum, potato chips, biscuits, and jelly were produced. The snack products that originally only had ham sausages instantly became richer. Therefore, Master Kong Group is already full-fledged. The rest will take time to polish and then market. Blue Mountain Group. In addition to stabilizing its basic base of beer and liquor, the Blue Mountain Red Wine launched has received a pretty good response in the market. The wine industry is a support for Blue Mountain, but real estate is even more of a pillar. Recently, Blue Mountain Real Estate acquired 4,000 acres of land in Yangqing, Magic City, 
Yinjing, and other areas. If we look at it, it has the largest number of land companies in the mainland. Blue Mountain can be ranked second. In front of it is Hua Ingdong Group. A piece of Nansha is beyond the reach of many real estate companies. But, the value of the land in Nansha is not as good as that of Blue Mountain Real Estate. They are all areas that will be popular in several cities in the future. If we put it aside for more than 20 years, it will not be a problem to build houses on these lands and sell them for trillions. Certainly, no one in the country would let Zhang Feng sit there for so long and not develop it. However, this does not prevent the acquisition of land. You can do development every day and fix it slowly. How long can it be delayed? As for the Blue Mountain Hotel, Blue Mountain Plaza, there is currently no news. Blue Mountain Supermarket is developing rapidly. At present, the business results of more than a dozen stores opened in the mainland are very good, and the retail sales of a single store can achieve more than 1 million yuan per month. Retail has never been the focus of Blue Mountain Supermarket. The real highlight is the membership fee. After investigation, the membership fee of Blue Mountain Supermarket in the mainland is 30 yuan per month. It's several times cheaper than Xiangjiang. Currently, Blue Mountain Supermarket has 1.13 million members in the mainland, most of whom are in Pingqing, Modu, Yangqing, and Yinjing. These four places contribute almost 90% of membership fees. Xiangjiang is quite saturated here. When the number of members increase to an average of 460,000 per month, it could no longer grow. Relying on the two pillar industries of Blue Mountain Supermarket and Blue Mountain Wine Industry, Blue Mountain Group can generate 400 million Hong Kong dollars per month. Although you make money quickly, you also spend money quickly. A lot of money was spent on buying land. But Zhang Feng is not too worried about Blue Mountain Group. Although it spends money quickly, its ability to make money is not bad. Moreover, Blue Mountain Electronics will soon be able to develop VCDs. By then, this industry alone will be able to bring 5 to 6 billion in profits to Blue Mountain Group every month, or even more. Splendid Clothing Under the leadership of Xiaona, after successfully acquiring three companies including Isi Miyake, Uniqlo, and SKI in the island country, it has now become a fashion luxury goods giant in the island country. Its anti sports shoes have become a popular sports shoe brand in East Asia. Perhaps, its current strength is not as good as that of international luxury goods groups, but as long as Jinshio is given a certain amount of time, it will surely become an international giant. Think of this. Zhang Feng suddenly remembered something. He glanced at Chun Farong who was watching TV, then patted his shoulder lightly and said, Arong, how did the arrangement for you to acquire Lan Kui Feng go? Why didn't I hear you talk about it? Huh. Chen Farong, who heard the call, turned around, looked at Zhang Feng and said, Didn't I write a document and send it to your room? How? Did not find? What did I find? I didn't touch anything at all. Zhang Feng looked depressed. He didn't see any plans until now. That well, let me tell you briefly. Chen Farong briefly told Zhang Feng what he saw one day. Do you like this video? Let me know by giving it a thumbs up and leaving a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on my future uploads.